guys, it's Melanie. Today I have a review for you of the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Pink Haze. This is the box right here. Um, I did receive this product courtesy of Octoly and Becca. I applied to be able to review it and they did select me. I was kind of excited when I saw this pop up on the Octoly website because in some of my previous setting powder review videos, a couple of you had asked me if I had tried this particular powder and at the time I had said that I hadn't and that I didn't necessarily have an interest in it because honestly the pink hue of this kind of threw me off at first. So when I saw it pop up on Octalia, I was like, mm, it's worth reviewing it through there to see what it's all about and to be able to share my thoughts with you guys since a few of you had wondered anyway. So this is obviously the packaging right here. I will say this is this is some big packaging. <laughs> I kind of feel like it might be a little bit excessive so you can see the actual like container like within this little acrylic container is right here. So um, it's it's big. It takes up a lot of room in my daily makeup drawer. But it is very pretty. It's something you could definitely have sitting out on your vanity. And if you are someone who is a sucker for things like that, as far as packaging goes, this is pretty great. Um, I, I was smart this time and I did not peel the entire um, like plastic cover off like I normally do with my setting powders. I actually just took a knife and scored it down in between a few of these holes and then only peeled off half. So that has helped to control the amount of product that comes through because as you will see, there are multiple holes here. I'll give you guys a swatch here in a second. This is 10 grams of uh, powder or 0.35 ounces. And this does retail for $38. I will put a link for it down below so you can go read up a little bit more about it if you're interested or if you'd like to purchase it. Um, let me give you guys a swatch, which seems like a weird thing to do with the setting powder, but um, it's kind of important that I do give a swatch because the reason that I was so hesitant about trying this was because of that pink hue that you see right here. I have a lot of yellow um, undertones in my skin and I do tend to prefer finishing powders that are e either completely translucent or tend to have a more um, like warm or yellow hue to them but what I'm really surprised by is that the the pink haze shade of this doesn't have an impact on my skin tone at all. It actually just blends beautifully into my skin and is essentially translucent. So if you are like me and you have been avoiding this product for that reason, I can tell you that that actually isn't that big of a deal. Let me tell you guys the different ways that I like to use this powder and then I'll tell you, you know, whether I like it or not. So the way that I really have enjoyed using this and I found that works really well for me is if I actually apply this. So first I will put on my Paula's Choice Resist SPF 30. This is something that I put on every day before I put even an ounce of makeup on my face. So I will put this on. I will let that set on my skin for a good five minutes before I go in with the rest of my makeup. And then I like to take a little bit of this and I've been putting it on my Real Techniques Kabuki brush. This is from their Blue Squirrel collection. Um, I'll link all of this other ancillary stuff down below as well. So you'll know where to find that stuff. But um, so I've been dipping this in here. And what's nice is that the lid in here is nice and large. So this brush fits perfectly in here. I sort of work the product in and then you know kind of work it into the brush and then I will just go over my entire face and put what would be considered maybe like a base layer and what that helps to do is this product for me actually helps to blur the fine lines and the pores on my face so it sort of helps to fill them in just a little bit and gives my powder foundation that I like to go over top with which is my beloved Laura Geller Balance and Brighton 
it gives it a really nice smooth base to go over and it helps the makeup glide on that much better. So oftentimes I'll just use this Kabuki brush or um, I've also been using this Artiste brush craft oval number seven as well. Um, and I'll put on my powder foundation and then do another light dusting over top of this seems like a lot, but it really doesn't take me a long time. I'll put a little bit more over top because I do find that this also helps to absorb a little bit of excess oil and it just honestly makes my skin look flawless. I love the way that my skin looks when I use this. Now, does it look drastically different from some of the other ones that I've reviewed? Not necessarily. Um, you know, I think this is right, a lot, right in line with um, the Laura Geller filter fix that I really like, the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. Um, it does just as beautiful of a job. Um, if you're a Becca fan, definitely give this one a try. If you're in the market for a new setting powder or pre powder foundation powder or both, which is what I use it for, I think this one is really, really nice. Um, I like Becca overall as a brand. Um, their mineral blushes are honestly some of my favorites. The quality of this product is really good. It performs for me. It does the job it's supposed to. It makes my face look a lot more flawless than it actually is. It helps prolong the wear of my makeup. I feel like for the amount that you are getting, I mean, there's, there is a lot of product in here, you guys. Like, this would last you for a very long time. Um, it is $38, so it's, you know, it's more of a splurge-worthy type product, but I do think it's worth splurging on, especially if you don't have the other powders that I've mentioned before and you're looking for something new. I would definitely recommend this bad boy. Do know that it is larger in size so you know if space in your everyday makeup drawer is an issue that might be something to consider here but overall I think this is a product that looks pretty just sitting out on the counter anyway and I really love the way that it looks on my skin and that pink hue just really works to brighten my skin more than anything else it doesn't make it look like my face is pink essentially it turns more translucent once you get it on with a big fluffy brush, it just sort of blends everything out and makes everything smooth and just kind of silky looking. I really, I love the way that my skin looks with this stuff. So um, I am glad that I had the opportunity to try it. So a big thank you to Octoly and to Becca for sending this out. Um, even though it was free, it's still my own opinion so um, I like it I'm a big fan and I would absolutely consider repurchasing it once I run out of this bad boy I like to have several different powders to choose from um, I am someone who just craves a variety for so for me having several different options to choose from is kind of fun and it feeds into my need to like use multiple things <laughs> on different days so Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Let me know if you have this Becca Pink Haze Blurring Powder, light, Soft Light Blurring Powder. <laughs> Make it the name right. Um, let me know what, if, if you have it, what your thoughts are on it. I'd love to hear your opinion as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.